So we all love romance, right? Of course we do. Why else would you be on this video? Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 most romantic anime in 2020. At least in my opinion. If you disagree with some of these, let me know why in the comments. Without further ado, let's begin. Starting off the list at number 10, we have Hatina Illusion. Hatina Illusion is a magical romantic story. The story is about magical artifacts that were stolen and then scattered around the world. Unfortunately, they fell into the hands of evil-minded people. The Hashisato family of magicians took the responsibility to return them to their rightful place. Despite having no kind of experience, Hatina decided to join her parents in this quest. The story took another turn when Hatina saw her childhood friend Makoto in their mansion. Makoto wanted to study magic under Mamoru's tutelage as a part of a promise they made years ago. First, Hatina was excited seeing her friend again, but soon got disappointed knowing the person she thought to be a girl is actually a boy. After some hardships, they reunited. Soon, Makoto came to know all about the magical artifacts, yet he continued to learn magic. Hatina Illusion only has 12 episodes, so it's not that hard to binge watch it. Also, if you're a fan of romantic comedy, I'm sure you'll absolutely love this show. But going on to number 9. Coming in at number 9, we have one for all of you Fudanshis and Fujoshis out there. This is the anime film Given. The story starts with some sort of dispute when Ritsuka accidentally met his fellow student Mafuyu. Mafuyu was taking a nap in a quiet spot on the gymnasium staircase when the encounter happened. Seeing the rustic guitar, Ritsuka berates Mafuyu and decides to repair it. First, Mafuyu got shocked by the knowledge Ritsuka had and right after, the next moment, pleads for him to teach him how to play. The guitar gives Ritsuka feelings of nostalgia and he had no choice but to teach Mafuyu. Mafuyu is blessed with a stunning voice and that helped him to be a lead singer in Ritsuka's band, but due to some mysterious circumstances, Mafuyu has to be its owner. <laughs> Manga artist Natsuki Takia is best known for the series Fruits Basket. It's a story of an orphan girl, Toru Honda. She's been living in the Soma residence and due to a long time friendship, the relations grew stronger with inhabitants Shigure, Kyo, and Yuki. Later, she also builds a relationship with the rest of the Soma family. As soon as the story progresses, a chain of secrets starts revealing. Toru became familiar with the Soma's ancestral secrets. Meanwhile, she helps them solve any of their personal issues. The closer Toru gets, however, the more shocking facts she realizes. At number 7, we have Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it. It has been episodic online through Flex Comics Comic Meteor website since the year 2016 and has collected in four volumes. A four-episode drama adaptation which was aired from September 1st, 2018, as well as a live-action film adaptation which was premiered on February 1st just last year. Shinya Yukimura is a young but very brilliant STEM researcher at the Saitama University and strongly believes in math as the most influential instrument at mankind's disposal to appreciate all things. So when Ayami abruptly confesses her feelings to Yukimura, he chooses to start a determined experiment with his whole team to reply to one simple question. Is it possible to explain something complex like love using a maths approach? Not a lot of people love this anime, but for me personally, I loved it. Kyoko Suri, or Inspector, is a Japanese anime that was published by Kodansha. This is an anime television series version by Brian's Base, which got premiered on January 11th this year. While stressed to get past an ending with his girlfriend, Kuro was approached by Kodago, a girl who acknowledged that she was in love with Kuro since she met him two years ago. She then tells him that she is a goddess of wisdom, where she helps as the intermediate between the real world and the supernatural. 
supernatural world. Kuro doubts her, but after fighting in a library, it revealed to each other their true identities. Kuro is really a monster that has eaten two different types of meat, giving him the controls of immortality and near-complete precognition. Kuro agrees to help her on various journeys as the peacekeeping goddess of wisdom. <laughs> Beastars is a story about an uneasy tension that exists between two anthropomorphic animals, carnivores and herbivores. Lugosi is a shy student of Cherryton Academy and is a member of the school's drama club. The story looks mysterious when Tim, an alpaca in the school's drama club, is brutally murdered. This series has won numerous awards, including the Manga Taisho Award. The manga is approved for English release in North America by Viz Media, while the anime is now on Netflix. <laughs> Another personal favorite that's coming with its second season is Kaguya-sama Love is War. If you haven't heard of it, I don't know what you're thinking. It's so good. It began entertainment and installments in Shuishi's Miracle Jump in May in the year of 2015, and was moved to Weekly Young Jump in March of 2016. A 12-episode anime television series which was adapted by A1 Pictures was released in Japan between January and March 2019, and a second 12-episode season got premiered in April in this year. It was also filmed into a live-action movie which was directed by Hayato Kawaii, and was released in September of 2019. 19. In North America, the manga is approved in English by Viz Media, while the anime series is approved by Aniplex of America. As of December 2019, the manga has more than 9 million copies in print. In 2020, this anime won the 65th Shogakukan Manga Award in the general category. So if you haven't seen the first season, then don't bother with the second season yet. Just go watch Kaguya-sama, like, right now, because you will absolutely love it. Domo! Yorushika conveyed the view of the world in this movie. Yorushika contributed in the movie as the main theme song artist, and the song accompanies the feeling of Muge and deeply depicts the story. Yamadera Koichi plays the cat owner, a significant character who invites Muge to the world of cats. And Ogi plays Mr. Kusanogi, who is the educator for Muge's class. Mr. Kusanogi was shaped by imagining Ogi playing the character as the performance director of this film was a big fan of Ogi. The main visual unconfined this time depicts Muge's happiness, but also the sad expression with the pale light. As Muge looks at Hinode playing with the cat, the importance hidden in the visual strengthens the expectations towards this story that I'm looking forward to, and I hope all of you are as well. Yesterday Wo Utate, or Sing Yesterday For Me, is a romance story about Rikuo, who has progressed from college but has no ambition or any direction in life and works in an accessibility store. A strange student who is a high school dropout named Haru, by the way, who is best girl, keeps coming around with her pet crow. Rikuo still has an infatuation on his senior Shinako, who is opening a teaching career, but she also keeps showing up in the store. Rikuo's relations with the girls and all his feelings about his upcoming life keep changing as the story changes, bringing in other important characters like Rikuo's co-worker, the co-worker's sister, and another childhood friend of Shinako's, and you get the point. It's an amazing show that just aired this season, by the way. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic that we're still currently going through, this anime series was postponed. In the meantime, the second season has been broadcasting again in its place as of April 9th of this year. Origairu Season 3 will finally be streaming exclusively on Amazon Prime Video. 
After season two left spectators hanging with a huge cliffhanger, which, you know, I it, it was me. I It was me. I was the one with the cliffhanger. But I'm sure all of you were kind of upset too if you're anime onlys. But this season will finally be returning for Volunteer Service Club, Adventures, and My Teen Romantic Comedy Season 3. Now, I hope we're all hyped just as much as, you know, the next guy because this series has been on everybody's mind lately. And I can't wait for season 3 to actually start airing so I have something else to binge watch. If you're looking forward to any of these series or if you're currently watching any of these series, let me know down in the comments what you think about all of them. Do you think I missed any? Let me know what the series you would like to see. But with that being said, if you like anime top 10s, anime analysis videos, and anime recommendations, as well as some manga here and there that I'm going to start coming up with, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. With that out of the way, I've been Broken Obsessed in My Otaku Ways, and I will see all of you lovely people next time. I pretend